Here now on set with me, Janae Ingram, who's head of logistics for the Millions Women's Million Women's March on Washington. Got a little tongue tied there. It's okay, and we've actually the name is now the Women's March on Washington. To make it easier. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I can't speak when I'm cold. Okay. Um, so you were expecting you permitted for 200,000 people. The cops are getting ready for 400,000 people. Do you expect that many people are going to show up? And if so, why? Right now, we're thinking 200,000 is our number. We mm -hmm. are continuing to crunch the data. We realize that uh, we're in the, the, leak, the week of, and so we're continuing to crunch the numbers. But I do think we will have at least 200,000 people. And the reason, I think, is that people have been bothered by the, the tone and rhetoric of the, the past election cycle. And they, they feel like uh, the results may have have meant something to them about their issue. And so they want to come and show that they have power and they want people to recognize Well, that. it seems like you're encompassing everybody who felt like they were targeted by Absolutely. the president-elect while he was still campaigning. Uh, talk to me about who you expect to show up in addition uh, to women who say that they feel like their rights are in jeopardy. Well, I think any and everyone from men who uh, have faced issues like um, being targeted in the criminal justice system, the disability community, um, LGBTQIA communities, um, all of these people have felt somewhat alienated, I think, um, by some of the things that have been said in the election and want to come and say, we stand in solidarity and we want to speak up against anyone who wants to target our rights and our freedoms as Americans. Now, you just heard the inauguration committee, I believe that was Tom Barrett, basically yeah. saying that you are welcome to protest you're welcome to come to the inauguration has anybody from the Trump team reached out to you to sit down at a table and say hey what are, what are your concerns how can we uh, make sure that we're going to represent you going forward no no one from the Trump administration or prospective administration has reached out um, I think that ultimately this is more so about the the hundreds of thousands of people that will be here and how the Trump administration plans to reach out to all of them and really speak to their issues once he's in office. Have you tried? Have you called them and said, hey, I really would like to sit down? No, because I think that this is a moment for, like I said, the people to gather and say what we want to say and say what all of the people who are coming have to say and lifting up those issues. So it's not necessarily the moment for a sit down and let's talk about how we can get those issues uh, together and get progress for them, but really about people coming together saying we stand in solidarity and we are going to work together around lots of different issues and we understand that together we are stronger. Janae Ingram, thank you so much and thank good luck. This Saturday. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.